Storm Collectibles. You guys did it. You maniacs did it. You made a figure of M. Bison. So, <laughs> let's just get right into this. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I've actually had this figure for a couple of weeks now, but obviously things have just not worked out the way I wanted it to, but Captain McKay, he's been begging to hear my thoughts about this, so I'm doing this for you, Captain. Screw everything else, screw the frills and all the fancy stuff I could normally throw into this video, memes and stop motions and whatnot. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for the captain. Out of love. Out of love. Anyway, let's just jump right into this thing. Packaging, really dope. I dig it. I guess on the um, international version or the Japanese version, it's going to say Vega down there instead of M. Bison. This was supervised by Kiki. So hopefully, Kiki, you did a good job. Got the mean mug and M. Bison here on the side. And on the back, you've got all the various poses and stuff like that. Pretty much... Everything you guys have seen on like Storm's Instagram and just, you know, press release photos and whatnot. So Bison comes with this backdrop piece here that has the four kings on it, minus Sagat, but basically the four kings from Street Fighter V. You got Rog over here in the corner. You've got, um, geez, I forget this dude's name. I'm a bad fan. He's a new character, so that's why I just, I don't remember him. Got Vega. Got M. Bison over here clutching the world in his hands as only he can. Really, I really dig this. This is so awesome that Storm throws these um, backdrop pieces in with their figures. It's just something you can add for a display, and I, I just, I love it. And Bison also comes with a little instruction booklet. Man is so complicated, he needs instructions, and I, of course, know all about this. Just a detailed, um, you know, thing on how to put all of his various pieces together. Even tells you how to move the shoulders and everything like that. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat, you know. A lot of these import figures can be um, fairly complicated to figure out. And, you know, it's nice that Storm threw this in there for you. Kind of reminds me of when owning Street Fighter 2 and various games growing up. They had pretty bomb-ass uh, instruction manuals in them. Now our figures come with instruction manuals. Neat. And here we have Storm Collectibles, Street Fighter V, and Bison. Um, I'm geeking out about this figure, man. Holding it was surreal. Getting it out of the packaging, feeling the quality of the figure, seeing all the pieces he comes with. This is definitely my figure of the year by far. In fact, this might be one of my favorite action figures of all time. It's, it's broken my top 10. Oh my God, I love this thing. Starting off at the head, this is Bison's default uh, face that he's going to come with. It's a very stern, stoic, kind of your standard damn Bison. I just, I absolutely love it, man. It looks so freaking cool. I remember when I was watching uh, Anthony's Customs, he, he was saying something about how it, he, you can definitely tell this is M. Bison, but something might be a little bit off in it or, you know, off with or whatever. Well, I understand his concerns, and I, I do technically agree with him. It's like, this isn't a carbon copy of how he looks in the video game. There are some subtle differences because this is a 3D model. It's an action figure, um, but I love it. I just, I think this is perfect. I think you could not get this any better in this scale, and Storm did an amazing job. The hat, I just, God, that looks just so neat. I love it. The red, the washes on it, uh, the gold, you know, M. Bison skull with the wings look great. The bill of his hat, the gloss on it. The hat comes off. Unlike uh, the Soda Street Fighter M. Bison, the hat was not a separate piece. This is. And all the detailing in there, man, is just so well done. That's how it looks on the inside. It's very soft, too. So you could put this on other figures if you wanted to. And then Bison here with uh, this head sculpt. So he's got his hair painted all the way around. Looks really, really nice. And again, I love the profile on this figure. And this is Bison's second facial expression. Just a very menacing smile showing all of his teeth. You can tell the subtle differences in the facial expression when compared to the first one. You can tell that is supposed to be M. Bison. It just looks really freaking awesome. Man, I just really dig it. It looks pretty spot on to how this, uh, you know, statue of him in the background looks. And then, of course, if you compare it to his... Um, his little instruction booklet profile. I gotta say, dudes, that's that's very spot on to me. And then here we have M. Bison with the famous laughing expression. I love it, it looks great. 
Ah, oh, it's just, it's just so neat to see all this. It looks so damn cool. I will say my favorite M. Bison head sculpt from Storm Collectibles is this one right here. I love it. I just, I, I think that one's perfect. Uh, the more sterner expression one, this would be my next favorite, followed up by the, the laughing expression. But it, it's not really a complaint. They're all great. Now, as for the rest of the figure, it's just super high quality. Holding this thing just feels so damn good. Uh, there was a defect on several, or a uh, quality control issue on several of these bison figures, which thankfully I did not get one of those. I got a perfect one. Um, I saw in Anthony's review, he got one with two right biceps. That's, that's unfortunate, man, but I thankfully got one with a right and a left bicep, so yay me. The sculpting on here looks great. You can tell that it's supposed to be a, a cloth material of some type but it's just stretched to its maximum because of how buff this dude is. The muscles on the back look great. Uh, his shoulder pauldrons, I love these. My God, these look, it's weird. They look like they're supposed to be metal, but they're made of course of that soft rubbery material and they're just held on there by a peg. And I don't think they're, they're supposed to come off. I'm not gonna rip at them. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> and thankfully they're attached to the butterfly joint inside there so they can move around and you're not restricted in any way like bison can get his arm up as much as he's supposed to which i think is very good very smart by storm in their design the arms look great muscular too you got some black wash going throughout this figure very nice love the way the wrist gauntlets look you see cracks and stuff like that and just in all of the like washes and stuff that they did to him and I absolutely love the way the wrist gauntlets look or his wristbands or his metal wristbands, whatever. You see cracks and everything like that in them. Just as good as, they're, they're painted just as well as the shoulder pauldrons. Awesome. His belt is attached to the long part on the coat and the coat is a very, very soft material. I thought you were gonna have to have the second coat piece on there to get some type of articulation out of it, but no. Works perfectly good even with the snugger uh, version of the coat on there. So yay, good job. Good job by Storm. Uh, the pants I think look really good. Like if Bison wasn't wearing the uh, the waistcoat thing here, um, he would look more like his Street Fighter 2 counterpart and I think that's pretty dope. Uh, the knee pad shin guard combination he's got going on here. Love it. God, these look so freaking awesome. The one on his boot looks great. Just really, really love these. The boots are nice, nice and shiny. Of course, Bison. You know he's got to look, he's got to look hot for when he's going out to the club. And in order to switch out the lower coat piece, you just uh, you just pop M Bison off of the peg like so. Everyone was telling me to do this with the uh, with Storm Collectibles Hollywood Hogan in order to get his belt uh, to work properly, and I didn't do that. So that's what you do. So it just fits over like so. Line it up. Be nice if Bison wasn't making this difficult. Losing everything. So then you just take that and you snap him back into place, which it's a lot easier to do off camera because I'm able to like get a better look at it, but essentially that's what you do right there. And here is Bison wearing his um, more flowing overcoat so you can get you know, better range of motion and the kicking and stuff like that, which pretty damn awesome. And just because here's what M. Bison would look like without a waistcoat on and kind of sad. I wish uh, the pants matched up more with the shirt just in case I didn't want to use the longer waistcoat, but it's fine. You know, the pants do look really good. They do have the same wash going throughout the entire thing, even though you can't really see most of, you're probably not going to see the figure from the back without the waistcoat too often. It is nice that Storm included that. It kind of would have been cool too if um, maybe they could have uh, figured out a way to paint on or mold on his uh, his belt, you know? I, I don't know. That would have been kind of a neat thing they could have added to it. But hey, you know, this is a Street Fighter V M. Bison, not a Street Fighter II one, so I have to keep my wishes to myself. Aww. And for the record, you can remove M. Bison's gauntlets. Just pull them off like so. And there you go. The articulation on the Storm Collectibles M. Bison is very impressive, as it should be. He can look up about that far, you know, not too far. He does. It does seem like he has articulation in the neck, 
So that's kind of cool too. So you don't just have articulation in the head, you also have it in the neck. So he can kind of cock his head or turn it side to side more. Can look left and right, easy enough. Like I said, he can look up about that far. He can look down a great deal. And like the Storm Collectibles Hogan, it is all soft in there. So you can, um, and this is the harder plastic. So you can move him 360 if you wanted to really easily. His uh, butterfly joints allow for a great range of motion in the shoulders. His shoulders could go 360, but you really don't want to do that because of the pauldrons. He does have the upper bicep rotation, upper bison rotation, ha! Ah! And he does have a double joint in the elbow, which again, these don't bug me. I like them. Can rotate at the wrist, and he does have a hinge in his wrist, so it can either go backwards and forwards. And if you want it to move in a different direction, you just turn the peg in there. And that's how you do that. He does have the waist articulation. His legs can go, God, this like soft crotch piece on these figures. I really, it's like I like them because you get the you get the articulation in there, but it, they're so weird. It, it just gives, you really, if you're gonna pose them, it just, it, it's like it throws off how I pose figures a little bit. But anyway, his legs can go outwards that far and they can kick out that far. It's a little bit more restricted when you have on the, the closed uh, coat, but anyway, you do, have a up, you do have a rotation in that upper hip. He does have the double bend in the knee. Awesome. You can rotate 360 at the foot, and he does have toe articulation, kind of neat. And he does have a bit of an ankle rock, and I believe there is a, a different way to how to get it to go at a deeper position. I just don't remember how to do that. Anthony's Customs uh, review, which I'll link down below. Yeah, you see, it's it's just at certain angles you can get it. But yeah, he does a much thorough review on M. Bison, so I'll link that down below. And one other thing I failed to mention is that he does have um, a bit of an ab crunch, and he can look back. That's pretty cool. And you can kind of see his like parts inside of there too when you turn and rotate that. So that's a that's a very interesting how Storm does how Storm just does these figures. Like being able to pretty much see all their innards when you uh, pull them apart. It's very interesting, and the amount of soft pieces that they use to get the posing and articulation in them is just very interesting to me. M Bison comes with a number. Of oh, seriously, you got to beat up on Zack Ryder? What do you ever do to you, man? He's got a pair of closed fists that he can use to, you know, beat down on the broskies. He's got these like semi-open, semi-closed hands that he can use to, you know, strangle insubordinate uh, members of his crew. Oi, don't strangle me, fella. Only did what you asked. You did no such thing, Seamus. You went to Arby's. You got me three double cheese and beef, but you forgot one thing. <laughs> Oi, what's that, fella? You forgot the marinara sauce to my mozzarella sticks! He's also, oh, seriously? God, I'm gonna get us yanked off YouTube, man. Uh, he's got two other hands here that I would say are pretty much the same as the uh, throttling hands that kind of look like this, except they're a little bit more open. Uh, the thumb's inward, though, so I'd say these are more of his uh, butt-pinching hands. I don't know. And then he has a pair of fully extended open 10 hands. So apparently, M. Bison, big fan of Ty Dillinger. Good on you. Good taste. And speaking of good taste, I see a luscious badonka that needs a nice little spanking. Yeah, baby! <gasps> oh my god. I'm so sorry. 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 Well, you know, unless of course you're into this, then hey, baby. And, oh my and then Bison has two somewhat translucent hands with like a purplish pink kind of afterglow effect because, you know, he's been eating way too many jelly donuts and now they're all over the place. Or they're, you know, bruises from his hands because he's, you know, too busy smacking that ass. Actually, if I remember right, I think these are like his um, psycho power energy hands for like when he's like floating up in the air and stuff like that. Because they don't go with any of the particle effects, so I'm going to guess that's what these are for. And speaking of these varying effects, he's got this one right here. I'm not too certain which one this is called. I'm guessing, I, I mean, I see, I'm such a bad fan. I don't know the names of the moves or stuff anymore. I mean, Psycho Crusher is one I remember, the Head Stomp. I'm not too certain what this one is, but on the packaging, he's got it where it's like he's swiping downward, or you could probably use it for him, like swiping upwards with an uppercut. I'm guessing it's just more of a, like a focus attack effect or something like that, but 
It's really cool. It's got that translucent style to it. And inside you can actually see where Bison's fingers are supposed to go. So you use this hand here and it just slips on. So here is what that effect piece looks like on his hand. My recommendation is to take off the hand and then put it on. But it, it looks pretty cool for what it is. I'm not the, I don't really use a lot of these in my animations or photo taking and stuff like that, but it is neat to have. So if I do want to use it, there is that option and it just looks nice. And then M. Bison, you just stick on the uh, strangulation hands that he was using on Seamus and he can juggle his uh, little pink flaming fireballs. It's great. I mean, the kids love it. It's pretty awesome. Psycho energy attack effect. It looks pretty neat. And there's like actually like little um, grooves in there for the fingers. I just have an impossible time trying to line them up. And because the fingers are made of the same soft rubber material, you know, it is easier just to kind of like almost just put it in the hand and go for it. But it is cool that they have the grooves in there so you can properly line them up. I'm just an idiot and I don't know how to do it and I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Which also makes me bad at doing videos and I should just quit. He also comes with a pair of folded up arms that are two separate pieces. And so the shoulder joints are removable. You just pop them off and this is its own separate piece. Now here's kind of why I was dreading it. His had a crack in it and so does mine. He was saying that um, according to like forums and message boards and stuff like that, that Storm, uh, they were doing these in order to get, I think these things to fit properly. So the good thing is that, you know, all this is soft. Okay, so it feels like that's in there. So we're gonna do the same thing with the right arm. God, this, this looks so funny. So you wanna get this up and voila, now you got your bison doing a sinister cross arm pose. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't too bad. I did not think I was gonna use this accessory if, or use these uh, pair of arms, but that's really neat. I mean, SH Figure Arts have a way of doing it too, but I kind of like the way um, Storm Collectibles did theirs. I mean, this is almost statuesque. And of course you still have the posability of the lower body. So neat, I I like it. And the final thing yet to talk about, M. Bison comes with this badass, amazing Street Fighter V stand. Um, sadly, there are no peg holes in this for his feet, so when he's standing on it, he's just gonna have to stand on his own, which he is perfectly capable of. So I think that looks pretty freaking badass. And the fact that they included this at all, it's just amazing. It's an amazing little piece too. Bison looks pretty freaking cool on it. Now, it also does include um, this piece here, which is kind of like their version of the... Um, it, well, it's got their own little, like, claw thing here that can go up and down. And I've yet to use this, but I remember seeing on Craig's and on Anthony's video, this thing is really stiff. Wow. I think Cap also talked about that, too. But yeah, it's got the claw right there and it snaps holding your prisoner in place and it's got it's got great range of motion you take a stand here pop that into place and then you take this and move it all the way to the very top and and then voila you've got m bison doing his best peter pan impression well, not his best. I mean, I did see him once at a, th at a third grade play. Ugh, it was not pretty. Uh, something tells me we had better wrap up this video soon. So overall, I love Storm Collectibles and Bison figure. This is my figure of the year so far, by far. I absolutely love it, despite my complaints. It's just how they do the lower to uh, torso, the, the soft crotch piece and everything like that. It still bugs me. I love the articulation you get out of this figure, though. All the pieces he comes with are insane. I love the expressions on Bison's faces. I mean, they're all perfect. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a near-perfect M. Bison figure. Uh, is it better than the Soda Street Fighter II figure? I would say that it's different. You know, I wouldn't say that it's better. It's just definitely different. If you see it online at Big Bad Toy Store or on eBay, pick it up. You guys will not be disappointed. Damn it, Chase! Well, you'll get the hell out of here. 
Me and the girls are trying to watch the sunset. Mm-hmm. Yes, ladies. I do indeed own the sun. Okay, Bison, but aren't you forgetting somebody? Um, Bailey? Sasha Banks? Becky Lynch? Alexa Bliss? Uh, no. Uh, Naya? Chase, you bastard! Oh, what the hell? The more the merrier. Get over here, baby! Ah!